Well, a very good afternoon and welcome to Allianz Park in North London, where the snow is falling, the sleet is falling, the clouds are depositing some wintry goodness as we await our first NatWest Schools Cup under-15s semi-final. We have dispatched with two VARS semi-finals and we are now into the cup. It's the big one. It's Millfield School against Sedborough School. We're live from Allianz Park on EnglandRugby.com. We're on YouTube as well. Wherever you're watching, a very good afternoon to you. We know that the Twickenham programme that starts on March the 16th for the under-15s big finals day will see the Vars final fought out between Dr. Chandler's Grammar School and Sir Thomas Rich's School. But now it's time for the cup competition. My name's Nick Heath and alongside me is Natasha Hunt. Natasha, good afternoon to you once again. Hi, Nick. Thank you ever so much. Thanks for getting us some hot cups of tea. It is uh, a chilly old afternoon, as the uh, falling snow can testify. And, well, a huge game of rugby in prospect. These are perhaps the two most prestigious and well-known rugby schools in the country. Between them, they've almost produced enough internationals to hold an international tournament of their own. Millfield with three of the current England squad, Chris Robshaw, Mako Vinopola, Jonathan Joseph, and Sedbro. Well, they might not have any players in the current squad, but great names once at the school. Will Carling, Will Greenwood, and other people called Will, no doubt. So we can have a look at the results from the teams and to how they've got here so far. And for Millfield, Buys into round three, which saw them put 50 points on the Griffin School. Wins against Sherbourne, Bryanston, Truro School, St. Peter's High School, Gloucester, and then in the quarterfinals, overcoming Woodhouse Grove School by 19 points to six. And then Sedbro. Well, after their buys, they also had a big 50 points to nil a victory in round three. They put a fair amount of points on the rest as well. Keswick and Lancaster Royal Grammar School. Then a win away at the Grammar School at Leeds and away at St Ambrose College. Slightly tighter affair against Whitgift in that quarter-final. We were, of course, transmitting that day on the under-18s on the trail to Twickenham. But the two sides have already met this season. 22-0 will win for Mil Millfield in early December. So the Somerset side will likely head in as favourites. Those history suggests games between these two are never straightforward. We have managed to catch up with the coaches ahead of kickoff. So let's see how they're feeling ahead of the big one. I'm joined with Tony Shaw, Millfield head coach. Um, Tony, give us your views before the game. What you're looking for from your boys? I think I'm looking for the boys to play with a pace to move the ball, uh, to defend well, to close down the space of uh, Sedba, um, and to, you know, to really enjoy it, play with a smile on their face. Brilliant, and what an occasion. The Lions Park, for many of the boys, this would be the best opportunity that they've got to play on a fantastic pitch. Yeah. What, are they looking forward to the challenge that arises at Twickenham, or are you very much focusing on this game first? I think you have to focus on this game, don't you? You can't look beyond this, because we're playing a very good side in Sedba. There's a lot of talent there, so we've got to focus on this one and hope we can progress, play well and, and progress. Excellent. Well, we wish you the best of luck for today. Okay. What kind of strengths are, are you, uh, do your boys have? What are they going to be looking to exploit? We, oh, we think we can play the uh, Millfield way, which is you know moving the ball with pace. Uh, we've got some quick boys out, out wide, but through the middle as well. We like to defend well, uh, you know, being from the, the north, and we put an emphasis upon defence and tackling. So we, we've done pretty well in that in the last few games. So we'd hope to defend well today. And uh, yeah, but like I said, play with a smile on the face and move the ball around. Brilliant. Well, well, we'll be looking out for some happy Millfield boys that are tackling really hard and yeah. running really fast. That's pretty much it. Excellent. Good luck, Tony. Okay. Thank you very much. Bye. I'm joined with Chris, uh, Sedbo's under-15 head coach. Chris, give us your reaction, well, your initial thoughts on the game, what you're looking for from your team. Uh, we're just thinking uh, to come out and enjoy it today. Um, it's a great occasion. Uh, these boys have never played anywhere like this before, so fantastic opportunity for them just to come out, play the way they want to play. We like to attack. We want to see that, lots of that. So uh, hopefully, hopefully we can get to do that on a dry surface. If the snow keeps off, we should have a good game. Definitely. So it's definitely the attack you're going to look to focus on today. What kind of attacking threats do you pose, do you think? 
Hopefully we can play with a high tempo. Um, we like to move the ball. Um, I mean, we'll, we'll take you on anywhere, but um, we like to. We can get into wide channels at some point. That's fantastic. But whatever the game dictates, we'll play. We'll play the way we need to play. Brilliant. So, what, what kind of things have you been focusing on in the build-up to this game? What kind of things have you been looking to target in training? Yeah, well, we know Milford. Milford like to play a similar style to us. They they, they like to attack. They move the ball wide. Um, if we get stuck into them defensively, hopefully we give ourselves a chance to get in stuck into this game. Excellent. Well, I wish you the best of luck for today and then going on for the Great. future. Thank you very much. Cheers. Cheers. Well, you might think that that interview was uh, performed quite a while ago. It was only about 10, 15 minutes ago, and suddenly we've got a dusting of the white stuff at Allianz Park. And we have a wintry scene. It is coming down. It's not overly heavy, but it is certainly enough of a dusting. We are live from Allianz Park in the NatWest Schools Cup, Millfield School against Sedbra School. Good to hear from Tony Shaw and Chris Swainson. Millfield looking for a first Schools Cup title since their 2009 Under-15 Cup victory, while for Sedbra it's a chance for their first ever Schools Cup Twickenham final. Only two sides have beaten Millfield this year, Bromsgrove and Wellington College, though with Wellington on the other side of the draw and Bromsgrove having, Bromsgrove having been knocked out by their opponents at Warwick. It looks like the final will be a big challenge should they progress. Sedbra, well, like Millfield, they've only lost twice. Also lost to Wellington College, while their other loss, of course, was to Sunday's opponents. Let's have a look at the teams then. And there is the Millfield team. Captain Tyler Olding, front row of Gibson, Zander, Banaskovic, Ollie McTair and Malam in the second row. Charlie Green, Harry Swinburne, and Tyler Olding in the back row. Half back pairing, Charlie Walters and Louis Coggins. Wings, Oliver Montello and Marcus Sichter. In the centres, Ryan Denver and Josh Gillespie. In the fullback, Adi Karim will look after things as the last line of defence. And let's have a look at Sedbra. Up front, George Regal, Max Twiddle, and Ben Patchett. Second rows, Taron Stewart and Carwin Tuipilotu. Then Russell and the two hills, Jake and Harry. Yes, that is Harry Hill at number eight. Michele Brighetti, the halfback. And Will Wood at fly half. Hugh Hollins, Barber, Ryu Fung, Will Pandey, and James McGee make up the backs. We are all set at Allianz Park for our first under 15 NatWest Schools Cup semi final. Just a look at the replacements as well. They'll be looking to make their impact and experience their opportunity to run out here at Allianz Park bidding for a place at Twickenham on March the 16th there's the cup they're playing for we've had a glimpse at the Vars earlier but that's the big one the under 15s at NatWest Schools Cup and don't forget, you can keep in touch with us. Get your own shout-out. Tell us where you're watching the game as well. We had uh, some information coming through in our last couple of games of where people are. It's hashtag NatWestSchoolsCup. If you'd like to tell us via Twitter where you are, we'll be keeping in touch with that feed. Any shout-outs? Or to tell us, indeed, what part of the world you're watching, whether you're supporting a son, a grandson, a cousin, a nephew, whatever it is, as you cheer either Millfield or Sedbra on, we would love to hear from you. Pitch is it's a great condition. It's a great surface, but it is uh, a surface dusted temporarily with snow. Chance to check in with Natasha Hunt then. Natasha, 
it's the cup now rather than the vase. Are we expecting a step up in ability and a step up in skill? I think you have to, yeah. If they've got this far in the competition, the cup competition obviously is the big one, as you've just mentioned. Well, I'm looking for the skill level to be higher. I'm looking for the execution on the kicks, etc., to be another level up from the VAR. So hopefully that's what we get, even in these slippery conditions. It is cold at Allianz Park. The supporters see themselves on the big screen. Seasoned supporters of Millfield and Sedbra. And of course, to all of you watching at home, I can see you waving as well. There's a Millfield support with the banners out in force. Players then getting ready to emerge onto the field as the music goes up the hype begins it's a great occasion for these players and natasha you've run out on a few big occasions a rugby world cup final no less what's going through the players minds at this moment i think mostly it's just about staying calm knowing your job keeping the composure and just making sure that you drive the team i know for me as a scrum half it was all about making sure everyone around me was comfortable and happy with their roles and their jobs and what they needed to do when we got on the pitch um, yeah until you're in that position i think it's difficult to say but it, it's quite an exciting thing and for me it was always more the excitement than the nerves excellent stuff well we are nearly there The announcer welcoming the teams on. Millfield and Sedbra, two perennial rugby schools. The snow has temporarily stopped falling. Teams are just being held for a moment or two longer as the announcer whips up the supporters in the stands here. And here they come. Sedbra then in the brown colours and Millfield in the green and red. for this one is Neil Chivers. Should be called Neil Shivers in this weather. It is cold enough. <laughs> there we are. The puns are out already. Dad joke. That was just for you. <laughs> yeah, absolutely. My apologies to the referee as well. Uh, so we're nearly ready to go. Tara Ellis, let's go Millfield, Happy watching time. from Abbey House. That's a message to hashtag NatWestSchools. Schools. Go. Ethan yours. Butterfield, good luck to Addy Kareem. Watching the game in Sedbra School, Winter House Common Room. Come on the brown from Backwards. Hugo McGee. Brown release! Clear comes from the referee to begin with as Millfield have possession. Keeping the ball through the hands as they try and come wide and look for room in this right-hand corner. Ball said back in field. It's then chipped forward, but it had just gone forward. Gone forward. Yeah. So, Millfield's initial burst of energy comes to an end. And said Brooke will have the scrum. Here's your margins. He's managing, you see, his name's James McGee from Will Robinson, watching from Hull. <laughs> Supporting Millfield from the kitchen, Holly Jackson, and we've got a photo in from Trevor Jones watching in Rivington. Fraser Jones for Sedbra is playing up a year. Red eight point, improperly. Improperly. Well, that is, uh, good to Coach! Know. On the bench, Fraser Boys! Jones hoping to make an impact, but there is Set. Michele Brighetti. No Sedbra scrum half. Oh, now red. Ball is back and Sedbra have got the chance to try and run this one out of their 22. It's taken up by the fly half, Will Hayden Woods. Let's go, Brown, over Brown! Over Brown! Just outside the 22, carried up that time by Jake Hill. And they come wider once more. Henry Hill offloading. 
Come forward from Sedbrook, though, and for all that blum and bluster to try and get out of their own half or out of their own 22, even. They just struggled to. They had possession back. Sorry, lads. Don't pre-engage. Don't pre-engage. Coach! Let's go. Bind! Charlie Walters. Stand up, guys. We're not pre engaging. This is just going to get reset. Natasha Hart will be uh, key for the attacking scrum half in this situation. Yeah, it's so important that they have a stable platform to play from. Crunch! Um, we saw in the previous game how vital that the scrum was because the, the line out is a lot free at this age group. So, really important that they can get the ball in, steady it at the back, and then the scrum half can play away. Well, Great gone start. With a pick and go from the back from Skipper Tyler Holding, but. Ball's been lost forward. Score advantage still. Still the advantage being played. Advantage over! Here by Will Hayden Wood. Now an opportunity for Millfield to come forward. Backwards, that's fine. Ball is loose on the floor, but it's still only gone backwards. Ball comes to the left this time. Louis Coggins. Oh, but then the break. The Millfield are going all the way here, and they're going to get the first try, first try through Josh Gillespie. He looked for a moment as he crossed the line, like he was unsure if he was allowed to be there. Yeah, elusive run in there from Gillespie. Great change of pace, great step, and really good strength to break the initial tackles as well. Brilliant all-round try from that young man. You know what I mean, but... Here we are, yeah, you're came down the back line through Coggins into Gillespie. Ball in two hands, tackler's just gone too high and then great elusive running. He's just change of direction as he's running at that pace. Brilliant. Tui Pilotu's tackling technique perhaps. He just wasn't low enough. And there's a chance for Adi Karim to add the extras. Flags are raised. And Millfield have the early lead. Millfield 7, said Brunel. Kiss yours when you want it. Sebra will be disappointed to have that initial score go against them. They've both, they've both started really strongly and just an initial missed tackle which has let them through. Kick downfield from Kareem is a good one. Gets the little skip before it goes into touch. Defence on the that. line. Defence on the line. Red on the line then. Got our referee's mic on so we can hear every detail from the officials. We can also hear how heavy he's panting. Drop back, drop back, <laughs> drop back. Fast pace split game. Both coaches said about how they wanted to play at high tempo and they've definitely started that well. Yes, they have indeed. Come through. Again. Backwards! That's fine. Field are doing well Scrum to hold advantage on to off, off round three. Scrum advantage nine. Still with it. Nothing coming, guys. Sedra Lost trying to rock over and win, win possession back through the open side. Jake Hill there, but Millfield already had the knock on advantage. Yeah, two fantastic bits of technical brilliance from Jake Hill then. Firstly, the initial turnover, the initial counter work, sorry, forcing the turnover, and unfortunately, his prop, Ben Patrick, couldn't, couldn't hold on to the ball and then tackle and straight back onto his feet. The speed to get back to his feet and get on that ball to turn that ball over was brilliant. Three early. Oh, we have a free kick award. Three pre engage. Early engagement from Millfield, so seven moves. coming away with it through Rio Funk, the outside centre. Give a set 12, hold, thank you. Brighetti. Little hanging ball for the forward to run onto, and that's well played from Sedra. And now they get a chance to run it forward through Taron Stewart. Was it just knocked on at the base there? It was. Just a little loose from Jake Hill. Good go forward there. Lovely little hanging ball for Tom Russell to run onto, I think it was. 
Top messages of support. Good luck, Millfield, and the representatives from St Anne's House watching from the house. Yes, yeah, before about asking for your space, you're the one closing. Yeah, here we see that pass. It was a miss one. He's just popped it out of the air and then brilliant chase back from the winger. Fantastic tackling. Yeah. We have a viewer in Hong Kong currently. Come on, sir. Let's go. Good to know that you're there. Outside, guys. I'm watching from the base of the Matterhorn in Savinia, having had a bluebird day in the powder. My goodness, Mark Lowe, that sounds divine. It's great to have your company watching this live stream. It's a big game. Plenty of alumni Set. from both of these schools, I know, will be tuning in to watch this. Schools with great sporting oh. pedigree that don't like Go to give much in any competitive situation. Carry back. Mark outside, carry back. Yeah, there you see the referee being marched, the line-out, sorry, being marched back into the 22 because as the ball was passed, he's called outside. It's got to bounce before it goes into touch if you're kicking outside of the 22. Insights from Ezekiel Hunt. Owens World Cup winner with England in France two years ago. Where's he must have got advantage? Push up, push up. A little tricky one to take, but James McGee does well and then uses his footwork to get around the first tackle and the second. Just gets over the 10-metre line. Decent gain from McGee. And now Sedbert getting away on the right-hand side. To number nine, Brighetti. They just come infield to try and avoid that touch on the far side. It's a big ruck on the floor. Adi Kareem, well, he won't find himself lying on the floor in that position again, given the studs that came his way. That'd be yours. Keep your space, guys, keep your space. The line-up will be to Millfield. Very good afternoon to those of you joining us for our first live coverage match this afternoon. We've had two already so far, 11 o'clock and 1 o'clock. It's Good loose advantage. on the floor, my goodness me. The advantage two being played, ones, there were two knock-ons. Just for mention, of course, to those of you joining us for the first time that may not be aware, but Let's go, at the set-piece, at the line-out in these under-15s games, there's no supported lifting allowed. It does mean there is far more competition and far, off, far more often the loss of the set-piece from the team that had the throw. You can see the uh, Set. slightly confused nature of that last on, one. Stand up. Oh. What, what a tackle that was from Tom Russell. Absolutely fantastic. <laughs> really putting Millfield under pressure now. Let's see if Sebra can capitalise on it. Crunch! Bind! Set! <laughs> Chris Paul Johnson gets that ball in. Holding Brown. Holding at the back, it's with Harry Hill who looks to pick and go round the short side and goes all the way. It's Hill over. Check with the assistant and Sebra have their first try. Harry Hill picking with real strength from the base of that scrum. Right on the five. Yeah, his body height is fantastic here. He doesn't stand up at all, keeps his legs going, evades the first tackle. Great effort from Swinborn trying to get underneath him, but he has the strength to go and roll over. Well, Sebra showing to Millfield, anything you can do, we can do better. It's going to be a tricky conversion, though. Straightforward as uh, the effort Adi Kareem had at the other end. Will Hayden Wood. Chance to level the scores. Just misses out on that occasion. Millfield 7, 
set for five. the restart comes down just outside the 22 really good follow-up from Molly McTair there Molly McTier perhaps oh and then the fend away six release right Hill having just scored the try just makes his way upfield red in the hands Regal play given. Get that ball away. A little bit of space for Hayden Wood to kick into. Backwards. Paddy Kareem. He's not handled it terribly well there, but now Kareem tries to get going. Ball away from Walters. Trying to find some room on the far side. And the boy stepping into touch. The ball's gone into touch at least anyway. Nothing quick, nothing quick. Referee saying nothing quick, not going to be allowed. Red six, replacement. Red six. Red six, replacement. Or a change already. Henry James Cowie is coming on for Charlie Green. Numbers, guys. Not looking like he might have taken what a number to the arm or something in the shoulder as he's holding that. Five, guys, five. Disappointing for him, he's looked lively already in the opening 12 minutes of the game. I know. Well, Sedra try and come across to spoil that one. They've ended up knocking it on, so Millfield have the advantage. Can they use it from here? Ball is quickly swept away. Sedra with the tackles in on Turlo. Turlo. Inside. Covering defence is coming across and will Shepherd. Therefore, you're into touch. The message is coming in. Will Robinson. So close. Tara Ellis had three cousins at Sedbro, but always a Millfield supporter. Well, that's just the way it goes. Well, he's back home already. Watching the semi finals after winning the Vars semi. Well done, Don. Good performance. Backwards! So he come forward. Just try and get that offload, Hollins, but man next to him. Games. 13, go back! Behind him. Couldn't get the ball away. 30 advantage, 13 so offside. There's a penalty advantage coming now, though. Gallagher, really good stepping through the middle comes Harry Hill. Ball in one hand. It's a really good last ditch tackle. Adi Kareem put his body on the line there and made an absolutely superb tackle. Got to give him credit for that. Last line of defence. And Millfield have got the ball. Lost forward in the tackle. Off. Just a momentary stop there. The flags come in because I think the assistant deemed that that tackle was perhaps a little unsafe. Time off. Free just splitting just the players. Speak to 17. I don't need him running in. I'll go and talk to the touchers. Speak to 17. Let's just have a listen. I've seen him go up and then I've seen the ball go yeah. away. This is a great initial break from Harry Hill. Brilliant running too often when you get a forward in this much space that he can try and take contact, look for the man, try and run over. Just needed to get a slow down potentially, look to see if he's got any other support coming. But great run initially. At the minute, we need just to be more careful. You're putting the player up there, you, your responsibility is bringing him down. Penalty only, where you go. So the assistant coming in there, we saw that little suggestion of a tip tackle the player coming up and so Millfield will have the penalty just a penalty only I think there's more in it good luck Millfield from the gardeners another message coming through on hashtag NatWest Scores Cup Millfield able to take possession then. Numbers, numbers red. Into Sedra territory. 
leading by seven points to two, 15 minutes played in this first under 15's Nat Western Schools Cup semi-final. My name's Nick Heath on at Rugby Media on Twitter. Sat here alongside Natasha Hunt and Hunt 09. If you want to hunt her down on Backwards off Brown. That's forwards off red. Forward by Millfield. Backwards Just a few little errors creeping in. Ball will be a little bit greasy given the snow and the sleet that was falling before the game. Also cold hands out there for those that aren't getting their hands on it too often. There you go, no from here, boys. Yeah, big hit. Hey, let's go. Let's go, Brown. So, yeah, we've, we've seen a really go, bright go. start from both teams. Both teams Grinch. maintaining the ball pretty well, it has to be said. The Boys. rucks that they're getting, the speed of the rucks are absolutely Six. fantastic. And it's enabling them to maintain that tempo that they both want. It's gone around the 45 boys, just reset. The referee's just going to reset that one. Let's keep your feet together. Not go one wide to sit round. Crunch! Bind! Clear, loud signals for the referee. Chris Pont Johnson. Pinks that in. Just got prop up. Just come up. Let's go, Brad, come on. So on that last bar semi-final, a fair amount of noise and communication from the forwards. I was just intrigued at that moment that when Clark Johnson put that ball into the scrum, it was relatively silent. Yeah, I think they're all really focused on what they're doing. They know their jobs, they don't need to keep communicating it. At times, that's all you need. When you get to the latter stages of the game, I think that's when you maybe need to give them a bit more emphasis. Bind! Set! There it is, a lot of pushing the noises, and the ball gets away. A oh, little show and option from Hayden Wood. Managed to get through. Mark Johnson, Harry Hill doing what he's been doing all game, striding through the challenges. Big leg drive, the powerful number eight, Hayden Wood. Uses the support line from Tuipulotu. Now. Oh. 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 Wood once more. You could just see that Millfield were crabbing in there with Gillespie to try and stop that one. Trying to dog leg the defence in. They've got to be careful they don't get done around the outside when they do that. But the defensive line was enough to force the error. Yeah, I'm really enjoying Hayden, Wo Hayden Wood's work so far. He's taken the ball to the line really, really well. Better. He's also challenging the line, so defenders don't know whether they can drift off him or whether they can. They need to carry on pushing up and make the hit. Brilliant Bind. start from Hayden Wood. Set. Well, that ball barely went in before it came out, but Millfield are trying to make the most of it with Tyler holding the skipper jumping down on it. So plenty, plenty of pressure on. Tom Russell in with the tackle. And then, oh, the intercept. I thought for a moment it was going to be a gift for George Barber. Lost forward, then lost forward. Just lost forward from Barber, but look at the frustration on his face. He, know he, was in, he knew he was in the right position to cause a problem. Let's go, Brown. We're in that half guard. Yeah, he's come up quite hard here and he's just shown himself. I don't think he could quite believe that they actually threw the pass and then he's just fumbled it. Crunch! Looked up to see the try line and just Bind! let go of the ball. Unfortunate for him. Set! Who? Me? This is for me. <laughs> Can't believe his luck, as you say. All the way for Adi Kareem. Oh, he did well to control that with his foot because it wasn't the greatest of service from his scrum half. Picks off a lovely pass over the top, but the momentum just slightly lost and then goes forwards. Back to the first offence. Lost forward by Brown, nine in comes was up. an advantage being played for the referee, so Millfield will get away with that one. Great stuff initially from Adi Kareem. Just a scrum. Yeah, he's done that a couple of times. No, Shaped a kick and forward. seen that the defence had actually dropped off quite a lot and there's space to go, so pull it through the hands. Space. When you're carrying the ball in two hands like he is at the moment, it's easy to do and brilliant recognition from him. You're inside. Inside, now. Coach! Bind! Set! 
Into the second half of this first half. Of course, it's 30 minutes a half at under 15 level. Balls away from Charlie Walters. Addy Kareem's kick downfield bobbles up and into the hands of McGee. McGee wants to make the counter attack run, but he's met by Kareem, who puts him to the deck. Little show, but then it's, uh, it's messy. Said we're just overrunning it. You could just hear then, possibly from the Millfield players there, they can't deal with us at all. That's the sort of positive messaging they're trying to share around amongst themselves as a squad to believe that all of their pressure is the reason that that Sedbra are making those errors. What do you think, Natasha? Yeah, it's good, good defensive pressure there. They've got a really good line and they're coming forward really well. Early, one. And just letting early. themselves down one. with silly free kicks like that. There's no need to come in early. Absolutely. Well, it's giving Sedra the chance to go and they really are going here now. Supportive run on the outside. Perhaps Dirty the ball move. should have gone into George Barber's hands earlier. Scrum and advantage. now it's away with Marcus Sichter. Where is Sichter going? He's running more laterally than he is forward at the moment. Not given Keep his opposite forward. wing, Montello. An awful lot of room to do anything there. The ball is now loose and on the floor, and I think the referees guys. decided there's not enough of relax, an advantage relax. coming. It's gone forward first, if it's lost forward. So they're going to go back. Hats off to the captain there, Patchett. You saw him absolutely gunning across the pitch, making sure that they weren't going to make the most of that turnover ball. Turnover ball is always so dangerous because the defence is yeah. the attack in team obviously have lost it and they're not set to defend. Millfield unfortunate not to go further there. Hello Mum, we're on the telly. Millfield supporters see themselves on the big screen. Red ball, you lost forward first. This is uh, where the hand camera came in. This is where I think the ball should have gone at this point. Yeah, he'd done all the hard work. Karim was completely committed. If he'd just given him the ball a little bit early, Gillespie maybe wouldn't have got back to him. Get back, nine. Kareem. Seven's leaving to the line. An awful lot of time. He's got a good clearance away in the circumstances. And Hollins wants to try and get away. It's a really good chase on the kick in terms of a defence from Ollie McTair. Red, take a set. Give it. And then the ball's away. Tackle, red release. Oh, into Ipolotu. Big number five. Then to the right, Michele Brighetti. Looking for that right-hand touch line. But then the hack through. Now it's a chase for the ball on the line. It's going to outrun everybody. And Millfield will have the 22. 22. 22. 22. 22 drop out from the ball going dead, of course, in that situation. It was when you want it. Yeah, right, it's so a lovely little on. spot. The defence are all up completely flat. Kareem slightly out of position, so there's a lot of space back there. Just unfortunate that that second kick, a little bit too far. Well, the 22 drop out has ended up going long and deep and rolling into touch. It's worked as a pretty good touch find right at the other end. Yeah. Red on the line. Why won't you rip defending one moment. Numbers, guys. Now putting pressure on Sedbra the Seven next. Scored. Just two points in it after Millfield's early score. Sedbra getting back into it with Harry Hill's try. He's obviously a key influencer in this Sedbra team. Option red. No. Relax. Not straight. Scrum called. More messages through on hashtag NatWest Schools go Edward Pollard, Pollard watching from Millfield, wishing luck to my fellow teammates and sorry I couldn't make it. Watch eight, watch eight, watch eight. Come on, lads, let's go, let's go. Bench strong, boys. Watch the eight. Try it, try it, boys. Coach! Good job, boys. Bind! Set! Alvaro Mansilla. Come on, Millfield. Well, this could be a good platform for them. And then the 22. Away from Walters. Down the three-quarter line. Red three release! Coming with Olding, who sets up the next platform. 
looking to come round the left side, but tackle was a little bit high, so now it's a penalty to Millfield. Will they opt to go for the posts here, or are they going to try and go for more? It's a tight game, 23 minutes gone. It's a tap and go. Good dump in the tackle. Millfield trying to get through with pace from the tap penalty. Away again from Charlie Walters. What are the options available? Said we're driving them back in the tackle. I release! Adi Kareem yeah. spotting a bit of room in that advantage of far corner. The ball jumps up. <laughs> Referee was playing Where advantage. It was a penalty advantage, so it's not excused just by kicking penalty. Uh, sorry, kicking possession away. 19 offside. Penalty Take a set, Brown. Against Post. Will Panda. Post call. Well, this time. Interestingly, I think that penalty is a little bit further back from the one they were awarded previously, where they opted to tap and go, perhaps, on recognising that the Zebra defence was at least holding up on that occasion. They decided this time to give Adi Kareem the opportunity to put three points on the board via the penalty. Seven. Yeah, the Zebra tackle technique at the moment is absolutely phenomenal. They're chopping them low, giving them no room to wiggle through those tackles, so good decision. Flags are raised. Millfield extend the lead by three points. Millfield school ten. Sedbra five. Yours when you want it, buddy. Restarts taken in by Millfield in the 22. Trying to get away and bust through the first few tackles. Sixer. In the red scrum cap is taken down. Thank you. Going back. back for Kareem. It's carried back, so he can't go straight into touch. Oh, oh, keep it in field, which he does with that kick downfield. Asking questions of Hayden Wood and the support from his back line, but McGee gives good support and then fires the pass that just didn't make it out. Sedra do have a player down out of the picture. I'm not sure the referees noticed it, or necessarily. Said for a support staff. It's Max Twiddle. It's loose. Yeah. It's a knock on. Time off. We will oh. have time off so that Twiddle can get some attention. Yeah, time's off. Three chivers. Let's go, boys. Time, time off for a moment. Yeah. Time's off, gents. Time's off. Anything you want to go, many gents? Anything? Well, so far, Natasha, Hunt, it's, uh, it's a relatively difficult one to call, isn't it? Yeah, definitely. It can go either way at the minute. Sebra's tackling has been absolutely exceptional for me. Um, some of their attacking running as well, their ball in hand stuff has been brilliant. Been really impressed so far with Hayden Wood and Harry Hill. In terms of Millfield, they've put some really good continuity together. They've kept the ball well. They've gone through the phases. And Kareem seems to be the man on top for them. Kicking really well when he's needed to kick, but also making really good decisions about when to run. With uh, Max Twiddle getting some attention off the side of the field, I'm not sure if he'll be continuing. So 17, Archie Davis has come on into the front row. And now it's away through Walters. Trying to get Sichter onto the ball at pace, which they do, but the defence is good and up to the challenge to stop the rangy winger. Keep moving, keep moving. Millfield didn't get much backwards width pan. on the ball. The referee's called backwards there. That's an interesting call from my point of view. Henry James Cowie. Then it's a penalty to Millfield. So we're not staying on their feet. They come again. Charlie Walters, scrum half carrying on that occasion. They're going to need a half back in there. Then the ball's pushed back. Tackle release! 
they can go round the corner. Full move. Henry James Cowie that time. Walters gets it away. It's not the easiest ball for Coggins. Kareem. They're going to try and find Sick on the outside. No, they're not. It's going to be a run from Gillespie. Tackled down there. Not quite sure how conventional attacking style that was there. Yeah, the tackle was a bit of a strange one. Yeah, tackle did look like a bit of a strange one, but did well to get the man into touch. Such an elusive runner, isn't he, Gillespie? He doesn't look like he should be as fast as he is, but he just seems to evade defenders so easily. Just glides through, doesn't he? We've got a 13 that plays a little bit like that. <laughs> Her first name begin with Emily. Be, begin with E. Yeah. I'm going to say begin with Emily. <laughs> it's like Giving it away. away. <laughs> Great kick. Elusive and brilliant. Emily Scarrett, of course, for England. And now said for it. Oh, they've got some counter attack ball, have they? Deemed to have gone forwards. Taken into touch on the far side anyway. Scrum, guys. Continues to tick towards the half-time point. Let us know your thoughts at half-time. Hashtag NatWest Schools Cup. Such is the nature of schools like Millfield with the uh, the borders and that sort of thing. It's uh, getting a message from Marvel Solomon's watching the rugby from Taron Stewart's bed. The second row. Uh, sorry for Sedbra. So, uh, that's what uh, you get in terms of messages from the support. Advantage nine offside. Nine from the turn offside. Who says the Sebra scrum half was offside there? Nine so. offside in front of the tunnel. Chance for Millfield to go 10 metres off from the line. They'd love another score to compound the difference between the two sides. Before half time, little ball back in penalty field. Advantage offside. Ryan Denver. There's a penalty advantage being played as well. Montero cuts in field. Give a step, give a step. Pick and go round the corner. Millfield still with it. Although Harry Hill's making a nuisance of himself in there. 30, sorry, 12 offside. And they're coming back for an offside against George Barber. 12 offside. And look at this, Walters will want to quick, will want to tap and go quickly, which he does. Gets the ball to Oli McTeer. And it's been ripped away by Sedbra. Scrum five. Oh. Brown carried over, scrum five. Ball was carried over the line by Sedbra. And it's going to be a five metre scrum. Referee just has one little glance at the watch. 12. Keep working on side. Let's get back before you come forward. Really good work from Sedba there. The penalty goes against them and Walters takes it really quickly, but Sedba had enough about them to get back on the line so that they could come forward and induce that pressure. Brilliant turnover in the tackle. Crunch! So can the Sedba defence hold out. Set! In from Walters, they're going to pick and go from the back. Sedra defence does rush out and do a decent job at initially stopping the run from Olding. Give a step, use the line. Thank you. Walters gets it away. Coggins, Kareem, sick to joining from the right wing over on the left hand side. Good tackle from Brigetti. Got to release the man and then Sedra trying to drive over the top. Well, Walters was playing that ball on the floor there. But Millfield have ended up getting it back. From keep moving, keep moving. Loose moment on the floor. Sedra trying to counter ruck through That's it, but guys. there was a knock on. Sedra given the possession, but in fact it will be the half time whistle as we suspected it would be. What a slightly messy end to a first half that Millfield have managed to finish on top of. They open the scoring with a try through Gillespie and Harry Hill tighten things up before the penalty from 
Adi Kareem. It's, it's the thing with the scrimmage at the minute. Brought the difference to five points. So in the under 15s first, oh, that West Schools Cup <laughs> semi final, we have a, chat, we have a half time yeah. score of Millfield School 10, Sedbra 5. So we can have a look at the scores in that first half if you're just joining our coverage. Good to have you with us here on the live coverage of the NatWest Schools Cup. And Natasha Hunt, this was the opening one from Millfield. Yeah, it's that man Gillespie we've talked about. Tackle goes in too high there. And then he's just evaded. Really good run in. Backs himself all the way to the line. Fantastic ball out in front. Has to bend to pick it up a little bit and then just slight hand off, backs himself through the gap and then that little feint to go, step off the left foot, brilliant finish. First up, tackle from Tui Pilotti, needed a bit more. It wasn't too long before Sedbro were able to reply. Yeah, this is just individual brilliance. Harry Hill detaches himself from the scrum, really low body height, heads nice and low, and then he just keeps those legs driving through the contact. See that again from the reverse angle. I've been really impressed as well with Millfield's back row so far this half, so that's no easy finish. So the two teams regrouping, going through things. The coaches passing on their details. Simon Van Holland, the director of rugby, Chris Swainson, the head coach of Sedbra, and there for Millfield, Tony Shaw. Craig Middleton, his assistant coach, in there getting the messages on to their players. It is a tight game. Sedbra girls have tweeted, willing our brown boys on in the NatWest semi-final against Millfield. Come on, boys. Will Coat, good luck, lads, watching live from Somerset. Good luck from Butley House. And let's go, Millfield. Heads up, Brown, you can do it. Keep doing what you're best at, love, Amy. And I'm at Sedbra. Keep your thoughts and messages coming in. Hashtag NatWest Schools Cup. Just beginning to cloud over once again. We might have another little snow flurry or sleety episode on its way. Which of these two sides will get their chance to play at the home of England rugby on March the 16th? The second half an hour awaits. Millfield 10, Sedbra 5. Second half underway in a moment. So second half then to get underway. Sedra to get things started. Will Hayden Wordy had a pretty bright first half. Uh, well, Millfield are just struggling to control that restart at the back and if Sedra can put on some defensive pressure. Abby Kareem. Sedbra, big second row. Timmy Pilotti. Clear 
against Anfield from Kareem. Momentary juggle, but it's taken in by Hollins. Oh, well, then it's loose. Gillespie is flooding forward. It's loose ball on the floor. Did it go forward there? Offer said Brahand. Oh, referee happy enough with it. Oh dear, this is poor passing and poor handling from Sedbra at the start of the second half. Will Hayden Wood is doing his best to try and get things a little bit more settled. Strong run from Harry Hill, you expect that from him. Shipping it wide, Brighetti wants to try and switch things to the left-hand side. Millfield spotted the chance to come forward, but they've knocked it forward with Taron Stewart. Now, Hayden Wood decides we're not getting anywhere with the ball in hand. Let's kick it downfield. Adi Kareem oh, evades the first tackler and gets past two or three more. Sets up the run just outside the halfway. Scrum half gets the call that they're going to come down the short side. Floodlights just beginning to come on here at Allianz Park. Gets gloomy late into this wintry Sunday afternoon. Well, Sedbury have done well there defensively. They've turned over that ball. Yeah, really good choke tackle there from the Sedbury backs. Going in nice and high, targeting the ball, keeping them up off the floor and then turn over their attack. Join the uh, Set. message in from Hugo McGee. It said we're all over in attack. We need to keep hands on the ball. Hashtag Harry Hill is a beast. He's certainly been playing well Seven, so far. Down. Hayden Wood. Oh, and he manages to fend away from the first tackle. Hayden Wood. Now then, it's going to be a foot race to the line. Can Ali Kareem bring him down? He manages to. Eventually, got up with him. Ali Kareem. On the line. Fantastic run in there by Hayden Wood, but equally brilliant defence from Kareem. He just pushes the first tackler to the floor, Brendan, then he's going. I'd, back, I'd put money on him all the time. He looks like to have done him, and then Kareem just slowly comes back. Brilliant tackle and slides him into touch. Red, I need the numbers earlier, please. Keep dropping, keep dropping. Slightly slighter build, but certainly had the power. That's a more go! work their way out of their own 22. No clear release, 18. No clear release. Penalty against Sedra, not releasing clearly. As you can hear from the referee, Chris oh, Park Johnson, the man picked. I need the numbers earlier at line out. Red numbers, guys. That's yours. Red numbers, guys. Five calls. Red schools come. All the latest. Do keep in touch with us. Keep dropping then. No, the referee wasn't too happy with it because the throw wasn't straight. He said we'll have a chance. From this platform. Let's go, boys. Come on, let's keep it up. Keep it up. You've got to hear us, boys. Red 16. Let's talk. Red 16 and brown 2. You'll be replaced. You'll be replaced. Yeah. 16, guys. Touchline. Red 16. I think this is going to be the return of Max Twiddle. Red 16. Red 16. He's got 16. He's left. Do it. Let's 10. Yeah, it's you. 10, you're off. Be replaced. You're being replaced. Change for Millfield. Yeah. Let's go, guys. Field, place for number 21, Set. Oh, that's just been knocked on at the base. Referee did spot it. That's just the sort of error that can't really afford, said but. Heads up, heads up, let's go. 
Here we go, then. Thank you. Yeah, Seb will be disappointed with this. Their eight, their eight nine Six. links has been really good all game. Unfortunately, just messes that one up. Kareem. Just have to take that one up, really. No, no. Running options. Thank you. Didn't really look for the to trap that one up himself. Backward is ripped. Now it's in the hands of Big Red three move. Tara Stewart. Will Hayden Wood looking for an opportunity to put inside centre George Barber through the hull. And then the errors creep in again to Sedbus Gaiman. That just seems to be a problem for them this second half. Yeah, it was a great offload initially from George Barber. And then the next offload that comes after that is just one too many. They just need to hold on to the ball, go forward, set a platform, and then keep playing off it. Is ball safety the key at this stage, particularly as uh, it's getting wet out there again? Shit. Shout out to my cousin Harry and Johnny Radcliffe and William Green. Millfield's going to win from Tara Ellis. Good first half All for the boys, sat with Hector Pande, brother of Will Pande, looking for a big second half, that's from Johnny. Good possession. Quarters. Swinburne. Still a little bit still as the ball was passed between them there. The high ball is well taken. Yeah. Advantage penalty for offside. Only I told you leave it. Will Pande with that high take, just as we mentioned. Keep him him. Off, now then, this is a bit of a kick effort. If the support can get there, said do follow up. Not held. Still coming forward. The boys in brown. Red keep moving. Up to the 22. If they can really keep this momentum and stop the small errors creeping in, or they will cause Millfield problems. Just as I say that, one of those errors does creep in. Millfield will have possession once more. James McGee has fielded, fielded those high kicks so well all game. Any kick up in the air, he's backing himself and quite often he's getting on the end of it. Brilliant play. A great vision from Hayden Wood just to dink it over. Us. So we need to get the ball to Lee Montero on the wing. Field still with the lead, ten points to five. We're off square, guys. Or 21 minutes remaining of this one. Let's keep those left shoulders back. The second round. So keep the left shoulders back. Just kept in at the back expertly by the skipper holding. Andy Kareem with a clearance. Doesn't get too much yardage on that, so another opportunity for Sedworth. You can see the parents on the sidelines cheering. Come on, you Browns. Desperate to try and haul their team red, over the line. Red step off, please. Little show, second show wasn't tidy. It's gone backwards, but Millfield are the first to jump on it. Now, now Sedba shot on it. And then the knock on. Brown the hands! Gillespie places the ball back. Millfield use it and take the advantage. Brown three move! Referee calling Brown three to move. Ben Patchett the skipper. I think he was moved anyway. <laughs> no, no, it's not yours. We're getting an awful lot of errors creeping into the game now, aren't we? Brown on the line. 
middle Brown and tidy the in this second half. Red numbers early, please. Five cord. Five cord. Red on the side. Brown I think on the, the ball must be off. quite slippy now, seeing all that sleet come down. What I really like about Sedbury's defence is when they're going in for the jackal, they've got hands on the ball. If the referee's calling them hands off, they're counter-rucking through, so they're making right, guys, all of Brown. Millfield's ball quite difficult for Scum them. Gold. Really good tactic. Not straight. Let's go! So trying to do something cute with the line yeah. out there by the little quick throw to the front, but it wasn't straight. The referee quite rightly calling that, and it will be possession to Sedbury. It's going nowhere, boys. Here you go, please. Coach! Bind! Set! Scrum up nearly lost that ball over the top of the scrum. And look to go. Pandey. Down the blind side. Really good strength from Will Pandey. Out back in field. One release! Watch your back foot, watch your back foot. Right. Scrum advantage. Loose once more. Three release. From Hayden Wood. Millfield. Relax, guys, relax. Brown release. Kareem. Got options to the left. They go that way, but the defence is there. Sedbra just decide. Put you into touch and we'll have the line out ourselves. Oh, Nothing that's that. red. It's marked, it's marked. Not sure I could do about that. Step out of it. <laughs> Forward off brown eight. Scrum advantage, red. The advantage referee calling me. Knock on. Advantage over! Kicks that one away. Kick chase isn't terribly strong for Millfield, so. So we'll have a fair amount of time to deal with it. Get the support players there. Still in their own half, though. Hayden Wood wants to try and get Penalty Brown. advantage. There's a penalty advantage coming penalty from that high tackle on Hayden Wood. Offside. It's just four and eight. Holding his head on the Penalty advantage if you want it. He was protecting himself. Still playing for Keith Seppin. The advantage 12 offside. Johnson. Oh, there's a new advantage as Harry Hill carries over the game line. 12 offside. Offside given against Ryan Denver. Tap and go. Hill wants to send one of the speedsters into battle. Hugh Hollins takes up the cudgels on that occasion. Hayden Wood constantly trying to go through that gap, isn't it? Advantage. He's then tried to pop up something clever, but it's not worked. Billy Kareem's just suffering with a bit of crap. In the Still foreground of your advantage. picture, just to the right. Walters. Scrum advantage, scrum Shorter advantage. Ball. Millfield still with possession. Walters. Brown release! Takes it on himself. <laughs> Penalty coming. We've got a couple of walking wounded here now. Go, go, relax. Just relax. Just out of your shot, he's asking to be taken off. We still want to go quickly. Yeah, it's a shame to see him leave the field. He's been absolutely brilliant for Millfield today. Some of his kicking execution has been fantastic, but equally some of his running and his handling has been brilliant too. Change that's made, we'll see. Ready, guys? I think Louis Coggins come back into the mix. Go, buddy. Holdings taking over the kicking duties and doing pretty well with that first connection. There we go. Red two. Always good Red to two. see a back row. Big foot to ball. Not on our team. I wouldn't trust Sarah Hunter to kick a ball to save my life. <laughs> Since I'm Brooke esque. Not so much Sergio Parisi in the Six Nations either with oh. his attempted uh, drop goal effort. That was quite something to behold. 
quarter of an hour remaining then. Backwards. Had a score yet this second half. That's also gone back. Loose for Coggins. Trying to find the support lines. The players who will take it forward for Millfield. Brown seven release. A bit to begin with. No hands now, Brown. Walters forwards, giving the platform to go digging for that ball. And then he pops it up. Bad counter rocking from Sedba there either, but Millfield do have it. Pick and go round the corner. Takes two men to stop them. Another pick. Brown get himself into a good defensive position. And it's away. Coggins. Going to have to go wide before they can go forward, but now they really do go forward. And the final pass gets away to Sikta. Bundled into touch. Nothing that quick, was some really quick. nice stuff from Millfield. Created largely by Thomas Weiss, who put some real gas down. Really got going. Let's just have another look at that. Numbers Brown all in. Yeah, brilliant handling. Second row in there, and he's just gone on an outside break. Red Mismatch in the midfield. Keep moving, guys. Thank you. Excellent pace and brilliant timing of the pass. He could have stayed out there, couldn't he? And just kept going into the corner, but well defended. Red hands away! That was well done in the end from Sedbury, who had to try and get across with a drift. Red defense release! And stop. No release. Seven. Penalty said by now. This will give them a bit more time to clear their let line. Run, but they tap and go Call inside their 22. Side. Now Milford you're on. The offside. The referee's calling them back. Red release. Sandra would have had the chance to clear them down back. the touchline. They would have had the resulting line out. But perhaps they feel that they're under threat at that set piece. Oh, and then there's the knock on from Millfield. He's going to get the opportunity for the advantage for Pandey. He wasn't able to get hold of it. 13 Brown. 13 now, Brown replacement. Of the foot. 13 Brown. Are you fun? Sir, how long? Sir, how long? Plenty of time. Plenty of time. About 15. Loads of time to continue enjoying yourself. Loads of time to continue enjoying yourself. Oh, sorry. A bit of communication problems there with uh, the numbers. Coming on to the field is Archie Davis. Grouch! Fine! Jake Hill. Six! All right! Upside, lost forward, he's in front. I couldn't control it. Millfield then, through holding. Looking for the big kick into the corner. All said we have kept that in, but know that the assistant on the far side has his arm up. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Red one, replacement. Come on, Brown. You're on yours, guys. You're inside if you turn over. More changes for Millfield then. Five, guys. Five. To perusal. Comes onto the field, number 20. But Sedra do well to spoil that line out. Still time left for Sedbra to get in front on the scoreboard. Harry Hill, oh, look at him when he gets going. Red release! From McGee, back in for Hill. Oh, that's a lovely, lovely pass, and he might need support to get round the last line of defence. Oh, the tap tackle is brilliant. But then the offload, have they managed to get the, get the extra men into the corner, Sedbra? Advantage high tackle. Must have thought they were in with Hayden Wood, who was going through. Now Hill again. Penalty advantage, nine. There's a penalty advantage coming to them. Which they now get. Three, keep it, it down. No, 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 no. Okay, so he's well, not going to let them take it, it quickly. Hayden Wood, he's 
going to be kicking himself for that. He, he did all of the hard work because he just needed to step and go a little bit sooner. Advantage coming now. Red three move! Carries it forward. Big moment this for Sedra. Can they get on the scoreboard to go ahead or certainly level the score for the first time? The assistant says the reach and the score is good. And they get the second try. Just trying to establish who that was who got that one down. May have been Tom Russell. We'll try and find out. Semi-final. 18. It is the replaced. number of tries. 18. That 18. Will decide nine. The team that progress. Get your nine. He's so been Sedman replaced. With try number two, are the team. Your nine. He's been replaced. Who will effectively get through at this stage? Yeah. Hold on. Let me get. Let him get him play. Kick yours when you want it. Start with Harry Hill. Now we're around in play on. Backwards. Red no hands. Give us it. Millfield with work to do. What will that score they've taken do to their effort now? Confirmed with the try scorer was Tarrant Stewart, etc. Well, here come Millfield. Loopy ball. It's taken by Otero. That's a contest, that's yeah, good. It's loose though. It's just good yeah. forward off a set by hands. Millfield will have to put it to the scrum. <laughs> Great defence again there by Semba. And, oh, and sorry, we're going to man of the match now. So Harry Hill is my man of the match today. He's been absolutely sensational. His carries have been brilliant. Broken the game line every single time that he's had the ball in hand. Equally, his passing has been absolutely brilliant as well. Great timing on the pass, great execution of his passing. So for that reason, Harry Hill is my man of the match today. Call from Natasha Hunt. Harry Hill then getting the nod. He scored the first try for said Brett when they got back into the game. Seven points to five. And now, said was fight back second half. You can see them through to Twickenham. We've got a few minutes from advantage to see what Millfield can offer. Hayes would nearly broke through there. First one way, then the other. Will be said whether who have the scrum. Phil will be keen to try and win back position as soon as possible. Following up on the back, not on the chest. No, and remember, say the channel. Yeah. Messages since those scores have changed. Toby Wheatley, come on, said, but we could beat them. So, Archie Davis, here we go. Bind! Harry Hampsey loving Will Pandey's performance. 
Hang on, guys. That can't be a good position for you. Let's get your shoulder under there and get your bind long. At the minute, you're strangling yourself. Plenty of time. Let's go. Hang on, guys, you've just lost his bind. So get it long, because it'll make you come short. You yeah, so we just need to maintain their composure now. Make it easier for yourself. Keep pinning Millfield back. And then keep the composure in their defensive line when they've got the ball, hang on to it for all they've got. Four minutes, and then they're through to the final at Twickenham. Get that arm up. Yeah, that's better. Absolutely. To play for to get a really good drive on that one. Will hate Wood. Get the ball outside. Oh, and then they find Pande. Wants to just put his foot down. Gets dragged into touch, but that'll do, Sedra. Got the ball out. One six. Got it Millfield the, 16, guys. Man. Replacement. 16, replacement. Yeah, you see Jake Hill here showing his versatility. He got seven on his back, but playing out in the outside centre channel. Excellent timing of the pass. And you just got to stay in touch there. Know, Brown, Brown. Maintain Brown, possession, like off, I've please. been saying. Brown, step off, thank you. Clock continues to tick down. Melfield will have possession. Tap <laughs> down. Quickly away. Ron Rigetti. Hill. Onto Hayden Wood. Those two have combined so well so often this Red game. Release. Millfield with the lead for the majority of this Red game. So now they've got themselves on level terms on the scoreboard. Let's not forget that that second try means that so far they are progressing to Twickenham. They look like they want to make absolutely sure by getting in front on the scoreboard as well. The ball needed to go there, that's for sure. Sedbrook would have had numbers. They keep the ball back in field that time. To move, thank you. They're going to have to go left this time. Aiden Word, they've got a four on two if they could get the ball out there. Goodness me, that ball had to go. As Jonathan First Davis off often says on the BBC, numbers. Yeah, he, he just tried to ride the tackle, the get his arms the through, the and then offload after, make sure that that man was fully committed. But as you say, numbers, it was completely <laughs> on, it just needed to go. Unfortunate for Hayden Wood, because he's had an absolutely sensational game. He's been brilliant for them. Certainly in contention for that man on the match, not was he? He was indeed. Equally so is Karim. I think he's had an absolutely fantastic Set. game. Get it long, three. Yeah, this good. man as well. Charlie Walters. Hold! Things ticking over for Millfield. Green and white. Sorry, the uh, green and red stripes. No! Needing to try and no. get upfield, but said we're doing all they need to do to push them into touch over on the far side. Red. Just step off, guys. Step off. Really work to get that long. Yeah. Red, step off, please. Red, red, step off. Red, step off. Step off. Step off, guys. Step off. Step out, seven. School under 15 squad hadn't even been born the last time the Cumbrians entered the NatWest Schools Cup. into touch did they manage to keep the ball in Millfield they did they're almost getting in each other's way perhaps too many individuals trying to take sole responsibility for getting the team upfield it needs to be a team effort not much of an organised back line to speak of oh but then a knock on release from McGee it's gone forward guys well, now then, what's the time on the referee's watch? Because we are getting close to the end of the game. We are going to have this scrum, that's for sure. Red ball. Be inside the last minute. Inside the last minute. What a story it would be for Sedgwick back in the competition for the first time since the October 2001 defeat to the Murfield Free Grammar. That was their last involvement in the competition until this season.
Here come Millfield. What can they offer? Oh, they can only knock the ball forward. Pande. Scrum advantage. Did well to hold on to that. And then the leg drive Red to race. get through Keep and moving. present the ball. That's great play from him. Advantage 20 Aiden offside. Wood. Hill. Got the support outside him. Back to Hill. On that arcing run around the outside. Now then, is there a chance for Sedba to run in? From that left-hand side, penalty advantage. Hugh Hollins, Red they've release. got the penalty advantage, Hollins gets to ground, presents the ball, then another little pick and go short side from Taron Stewart who's got that second try, that crucial second try, Hayden Wood, not entirely sure whether said but no, they've already got through if the scores stay the same, they're fighting Red 20 tag is set. as if they have to get this score. Advantage, 20 offside. There's a penalty advantage coming. Let's go, Brian. Harry Hill. Penalty advantage. Now they go short side. Do they have the numbers there? Hayden Wood. Can they create it? No. There's an interception. 20 the volume offside. goes up for the Millfield supporters, 20 thinking offside. they're going to get a chance to run it downfield. 20 but the penalty offside. is right in the middle of the park. And surely this will be kicked between the posts to seal victory without needing to go to the stats. This is last play. It is last play, confirmed by the referee. Post call. Good captaincy there. Ben Patchett just checking, making sure that as soon as this kick goes, this is the last play. That's it. When the ball goes dead. When the ball goes dead, that's it. Millfield asking what's going on. Will Hayden Wood taking his time. Gets the tee and calms himself Agreed, down. Once he goes dead. The Sedbra coaches watch on anxiously. This the kick that just puts the icing on the cake for Sedbra. For Will Hayden Wood. And Will Hayden Wood it, has slotted the penalty, it, boy, which bike. gives them a full-time lead. It's a final score at Allianz Park in the first Nat West Schools Cup Under-15s semi-final of Millfield 10, Sedba 13. Natasha Hunt, your thoughts on that one? Yeah, what a, what a great battle from both teams. Millfield really disappointed. You can see you can see now that they're just really disappointed in the end result, but hats off to them. They played an absolutely brilliant game of rugby. In terms of team performance, I definitely think Sedba had the, the better of it. Uh, their defensive shape, their defensive organisation was absolutely brilliant. So, yeah, fantastic play and good luck to them in the final. I will allow you to uh, nip down and get us some post-match reaction. And... We can continue to just see the Sedbra boys celebrating and relishing their next game, the visit to Twickenham. 16th of March, many congratulations to the Browns. They've done it. Keep your messages coming in. Hashtag NatWest Schools Cup. And this was where the match was won. Oh, sorry, where the match was won and lost, of course. The highlights from the game. Gillespie then with the first try for Millfield. Put them up by five points to nil. And Millfield looked so strong in that opening quarter of the match. Gillespie with real power. And you could see that scything running style. And then Harry Hill, chosen by Natasha Hunt as man of the match. And that was his first contribution, first meaningful contribution, really. Busting over from the scrum. Close range, firing around the short side. 
And despite the attempted tackles, he had the strength to get through. You could see the supporters in the background. Absolutely thrilled. We had a penalty from Kareem, but that was the key score from Taron Stewart. That levelled up the scores. There goes Stewart. You're not allowed a double movement, but you are allowed to stretch out the arm. And that's what Stewart did. It was the crucial try. By that stage, the scores were level, and of course, in the semi-final, the way it works out that if the scores had finished level, well, actually said, but with two tries to one would have gone through. I'm not totally sure that the players knew that because they were delighted to get that penalty and be sure of the victory. It always looks better when the scoreboard says that it was a victory, and that is how it's finished up. Full-time, Millfield School 10, Sedba School 13, and Sedba will be making their way to Twickenham on March the 16th, as we say. And we've got another semi-final to look forward to. Great to hear from all of you who've been sending us the message. Cracking cup final from uh, Bradford Grammar School. They can't wait for the second one. So I think we can get some post-match reaction down pitch side. We'll just be there in a moment. Natasha Hunt is waiting to speak to the Victoria Sedba coach. And I think we can Cross to join her right now. And I'm joined again by Chris Sedba, head, um, head coach for the under 15s. Give us your initial thoughts on that. Uh, we're, we're just delighted. Um, what a great, what a great game of rugby. Um, two really good sides. Uh, we've made a lot of errors. I think Millfield will feel disappointed that we've made so many errors and they've not capitalised on some of them. Um, I mean, I was so happy it's not a draw because what a horrible way to go out if it had been that way. Um, I, at one point I thought we would have gone out and then I realised that no, we'd scored two tries so we would have won. But oh, I'm over the moon for the boys. They worked really, really hard. Um, some of those lads have played great performances. Really, really happy with them. Um, fantastic. Were your boys aware that if they had kicked the ball off when it was 80 minutes, they'd have won the game because they were up by two tries? Um, they were, they were, um, but with uh, for any, a penalty any further out, we probably wouldn't have kicked a goal. We'd have kicked, we just took it off the field. Um, but with that opportunity, I, I knew he was going to kick that one. Um, I'd rather go through on a win. Um, yeah, so kick or kick it. Feels a bit better. Yeah, definitely. Um, from me, your defensive shape and your organisation was absolutely sensational. You said that you mentioned your, you mentioned your attack in the pre-match interview. Your defence for me really stood up today. What are your thoughts on that? Yeah, I, we, we've had some fixtures here and uh, we've always, always prided ourselves on how we defend. Um, we went away to Middlefield, um, they beat us 22-0, um, but we worked our socks off in defence. We played Wellington, they beat us by a, score, a couple of scores as well, um, but we defended really, really well. And we knew that if we could stick with teams, we've got enough just to get away in that final quarter. So it came, it came through. Um, I'm very, very proud of them. It was an absolutely brilliant team performance, Chris, and we wish you all the best in the final at Twickenham on the 16th. Thank Congratulations. You Thank you very much. Thank, fantastic day. Thank you very much. Cheers. Cheers, Chris. Well, it was awesome, as we just hear the end of uh, Natasha Hunt speaking to Chris Swainson there. And what delight on his face. Really, really wonderful to see, because these teachers, these coaches, all of these people are part of the teams that bring these boys along and give them the chances to excel themselves. And, uh, well, he can be very proud of his Sedba school. Um, fantastic match. And, uh, well, a thrilling conclusion in that first cup semi-final. We've got one more to go, of course, as well. A five o'clock kickoff in around 40 minutes' time. We'll be on air in just under half an hour once again for our final match here at Allianz Park this Sunday in the under-15s NatWest Schools Cup. Semi-final two to come between Warwick and Wellington College. But for now, it's congratulations to Sedba School. They are on the road to Twickenham. They will be there on March the 16th. The March the 16th. Do get your own tickets or come along. And uh, you can also tune into our live stream there, of course. It's full time in semi final one, and it's finished. Millfield School 10, Sedba School 13.